Hey you guys, so I am back with a, another video. This is going to be my first video of 2022. Happy New Year everyone. I hope that y'all are enjoying your first two days of the new year. I hope that it has brought happiness, greatness, love, kindness, peace, joy, and I hope that y'all are just having a great day. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Um, my name is Ebony, by the way, if no one knows. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If this is not your first time to my channel, welcome back. Um, I am going to be going on a journey with myself this year with sharing more. I know that sounds kind of funny. I know some people may be like, sharing more, <laughs> but... Um, I want to share more of things that are actually uh, happening in my life, things that I actually do. Um, I am one of those people where I always have very, very, very creative ideas, but I will be really honest and I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way. I hope that one day I can look back at this video and laugh about it, but I will be really, really honest. Um, like I said, I'm a very creative person, but I am always really scared to share my ideas with other people. Not because, um, you know, they're not good ideas. I just, I don't know. I think sometimes I'm always scared of like criticism. Um, so sometimes I'm just, I, I kind of sometimes think that maybe sometimes my ideas are not the best or someone is going to like criticize me on my, my thoughts or things like that. So this is kind of my way of really getting out of that mindset. I, I really want to reset myself for this new year and why not a better way of doing it than actually showing you what I actually do. What is my side, um, small business that I've started, um, maybe a little over, mm, I'd say maybe a little over a year ago. Um, I started this business. So the kind of niche or part that I wanted to be in because I absolutely love these things and I absolutely love notebooks is um, I actually make regular full size notebooks. And I also, when I say full size, I mean like an eight and a half by 11 size notebook. And I also make these travelers notebooks as well. Um, so I kind of want to go through the process of just showing you like how I make these traveler size notebooks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of explain to you how I make these. And let me grab like a regular full size sheet of paper just so I can explain a little bit better. So I have a regular, this is just a regular 12 by 12 sheet of paper if you can see it like so it's just a regular 12 by 12 sheet of paper um cardstock and it's actually double-sided so looks like that on one side and then the other side looks like that um i actually think i got this from the scrapbook.com i believe um so with that being said i'm just gonna kind of briefly kind of explain how i make my traveler's notebooks so um, I actually do have the measurements um, to cut this out. Now, I will say if you have a Cricut, um, this might go a little bit faster for you. And if you don't own a Cricut, um, I will kind of explain maybe some other tools that you can use um, that you may need to make these traveler's notebooks. Um, you really don't need that many items. So here we go. And and also at the end, I'll kind of explain why I make my own traveler's notebooks and why I decided to not buy them anymore. Um, and then I'll kind of show you my kind of um, daily journal setup for this year. So um, let's just start with how I make them. So like I said, I have um, this just plain piece of paper. I say plain, but um, this double-sided piece of paper. So the size that you're going to want to cut this down to, and I'll also put this down in the description below, just so, um, you know, you don't have to watch this whole video for me to say the measurements. 
the measurements that you're going to want to make the size of your traveler's notebook. Now, this may vary for every person, but this is just a standard size for me, or this is the closest size I can get to a standard. And when I say standard, I mean like a standard size, like regular 003 traveler's notebook. This is like the standard size that I'm making is um, the width is going to be 9.57 inches and the height is going to be 8.3 inches. So with that being said, with those two measurements that you have, the width being 9.57 and the height being 8.3, um, you're gonna have that completely cut out. Then what you're gonna do is once you have that cut out, you're going to then fold that exact size piece of paper that I just told you. You're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna score it down the middle of the page. And when I say score, if you don't know what scoring means, um, this is a bone folder. I don't know if you see this. Okay. This is a bone folder. And, um, what you're going to do is once you fold your paper in half, this just kind of ensures that your paper is, um, like scored, like it has a, a, a very crisp line to it. So I just use my bone folder or what I do is I also sometimes use a squeegee. This is just like a plain like rubber squeegee. And it's, you know, it has, it's not sharp, but it has a very crisp edge on both sides. And I like to use this kind of a lot more than my bone folder because my bone folder can only get so much. So with that being said, after, you know, my front cover is uh, cut out, what I do next, and this is kind of the part for me that I had to really research. Um, so the next thing that I did is I went on Amazon. Let me move this out the way for a second. What I did is I went on Amazon and I got some paper. Now, this is not, uh, this is not regular. I think it's A5 is like a regular like letter size piece of paper. This is smaller than that. This is an A4. So the A4 paper has the exact height that I need. And when I say that, what I mean by that is, and I didn't, I'm so sorry that I did not bring a um, regular like letter page sheet of paper to you so I could like show you this a little bit better. So this is what this regular letter or A4 paper looks like. Looks like this. I don't know if you can see that like completely, but it looks like this. And once you like have this paper going horizontal, um, the height of it is the exact height. Like I said, the 8.3 for the height, it's the exact height. It was the width of the paper, but now it's going to be the height when you um, rotate these papers um, horizontal. So what I do is I actually take 16 sheets of this paper and I fold it in half um, evenly. I try to fold it as evenly as I can. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate or kind of show you kind of quickly just so this doesn't take up so much time. I'm gonna kind of, I, I go and I score like so, 16 sheets of this paper like this. And then I just kind of, you know, put them off to the side one by one. Then what I do is once I have folded 16 sheets of paper like this, I open every single one of them up. And what I mean by that when I say open them up, I'm gonna go ahead and fold another sheet just so I can kind of show you what I mean by that. So I go in and I, like, for instance, if this was like, you know, this is like one, this is two. What I do is I go in and I open every single like page and I put one inside of the other. Like I just stack them inside. And then what I do whenever I'm done is I make sure that all of these lines in here right here or even when I stack them up. Then the next part is after I'm done with all 16 sheets of paper, my next thing that I'm that I needed to make this booklet or this traveler's notebook is like I said, you're going to need your cover. Like so, what piece of paper you have cut out for your cover? I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on top of my paper. Now, I will say this, um depending on how wide 
like I said, the width does matter with this. So depending on what size or width you made your front cover, you are going to have like hangover from the paper. And you're also going to have a little bit of a hangover from your front cover paper as well. And the reason why I made the width 9.57 is so when I go and I cut these down, because you will be able to tell that, you know, your traveler, like, for instance, like this outside cover paper will be like out to here. And whenever I go and get these cut, um, I wanted it to not be so short. And the reason why I say that is because, um, like whenever you staple, and I'm going to show you in a second what I mean by staple. So say for instance, like if you can tell, you may not be able to tell, this might be not the best one to show you at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to kind of show you this one. You can tell that these are bind by staples, just like the regular um, Traveler's Notebook uses staples. Um, I actually just stapled mine. So this is the stapler that I use. This is, I don't know how to say this, Bestige? So I think it's called Bestige. I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is just a long arm stapler. It just looks like this. It's like a literally like a regular stapler. It's just a long arm stapler. And it has this, um, like little rail down here that moves. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate kind of quickly how I use this long arm stapler and how I staple my, um, papers together or my notebook together. So all I do is I basically just take my long arm stapler like this and once I have my front cover like this and all of my pages put together, what I do is I basically open this up and you can tell where the staples are. They're not exact. I don't staple them exactly every single time in the same exact place. But what I do is I basically just put this under here like so. I line it up with the line of where my score line was, like I was telling you earlier, where this score line is. And I basically eyeball it and I staple it down. And then I do the same thing at the bottom as well uh, down here. So um, I will say this, and I, I don't know if I, I mentioned prices a second ago, but um, the long run stapler cost me no more than like 20, maybe a little less. I think it was maybe like, no, I don't even think I even paid 20. I think I might have paid like $15 for it at my local um, office depot. I bought a regular pack of staples. They just, this, they're just premium staples. And then my paper that I bought like this, this is just the regular A4. Uh, and by the way, this is 20 pound paper, by the way. Um, each sheet is 20 pound paper, which is, I think the lightest paper I could find, um, which is nice for me. Now I will say if you want a thicker paper, you can do so. I just like the regular 20 pound paper because it mimics the regular um, traveler's notebook paper. So that was nice for me. And I will link this paper. I will link, uh, this paper down below, um, because I also got it off of Amazon and, um, uh, it only cost me, I think if I'm not mistaken, $20 for the pack of paper, but I will say this, and I'm going to kind of explain why I wanted to make my own traveler's notebooks instead of buying them off of the traveler's notebook website. I, Cause I kind of did some math. So the traveler's notebook, one traveler's notebook cost me $5 and 40 cents. That's not counting tax. Probably counting tax is probably around $6 and some change. Um, and then if you wanted two traveler's notebooks, that's even more like that's, you know, double the price. So for me, what I did is I went on Amazon and I um, bought the pack of paper. Now the pack of paper comes with 500 sheets. Now with that 500 sheets, if I'm making traveler's notebooks to sell or to keep, it's only costing me literally 64 cents for each set of paper when I say set I mean I'm only I'm only using 16 sheets of paper to go inside my traveler's notebook 
So it's only costing me 64 cents per each notebook, not counting that now that's not counting, you know, the cover paper that you want, because I mean, that may cost you between maybe depending on what it is. If you get like a regular 12 by 12 sheet of paper, it may cost you, um, you know, between 80 cents and maybe a dollar 12 or a dollar 10. But I will say this one is the first one, this kind of like, uh, copper color that I used. This one is the first one that I used that was a regular eight and a half by 11. And it, you can use this in your Cricut. Um, you can cut the 9.57 by the 8.3 and, and use an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I've done it before. I, it took me a couple tries, but it, it works. Um, especially if you already have eight and a half by 11 paper, just to put that out there. But anyways, um, Whenever I bought my pack of paper from Amazon, like I said, it was only like $20 and like 10 cents, but that $20 and 10 cents will get me like between 30 and 31 travelers notebooks out of $20. So I'm only spending like 64 to 65 cents per each notebook compared to me spending $5.40, almost $6 and some change on one of these. And I will say, like, I will actually show you. I'm going to take it a loose right now just so I can kind of show you the comparison. It kind of has no comparison. I'm going to be kind of honest. I personally like my own. This is the regular Traveler's Notebook. Notebook. Like, it's not that much different than what mine looks like compared to this. I mean, if you look at them side by side... They look identical, like you wouldn't even be able to tell. So I will encourage you, make your own traveler's notebooks if you can. If that's something that you do, make your own. Do not buy them. And I will kind of um, show you what my traveler's notebook looks like um, very, very quickly. Um, I actually made the cover and everything, and I also made all of the notebooks inside. If you are interested in how I made this traveler's notebook cover, um, where I got all the supplies from and everything that will be in another video. If you want to see that, leave a comment below, say, um, leave a comment that says happy down in the comments. If you want to see me show you how I made this traveler's notebook. So anyways, um, quickly, I'm going to kind of show you just kind of my setup for my traveler's notebooks. This is January, February, March, and April. Um, this is just kind of one of those, uh, kind of scribble ones. I kind of just put like doodles in here because sometimes I have different markers that bleed and I don't want them in my regular traveler's notebooks. And then back here, I just have my Bible journal. I'm not going to flip through this cause there's actually stuff in here, but this is my Bible notebook and it is a little bit wider than my regular traveler's notebooks. If you can tell a little bit. And yeah, I am definitely enjoying making these travelers notebooks. Um, and I just put my initials down here at the bottom. I don't know if you'd be able to tell, but it looks like that. I just put B at the bottom. I stamped it in there and it looks like that. And then there's like nothing on the back. It just looks plain. It's just a plain cream travelers notebook. But yeah, um, that is my video my first video of the year and i'm gonna kind of show you some other ones that i've made so i've made like this one it kind of has this like old school kind of vintage look and then that's the inside cover and then it looks like this on both sides this is inside though and then that's the outside and then i made like a glittery one like that and then it's just plain on the inside and then plain, and then I made this copper one. So I have really been enjoying making these. Um, I will definitely be trying to expand myself this year. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I want to be able to put my products out there and make other people happy. That is my goal in life. It's never to specifically you know, um, 
market something that doesn't make me happy. I would never want to market something or sell something that I'm not passionate about. Um, if I was never passionate about this, I wouldn't even be making this video because I absolutely love my notebooks. I absolutely love just the funness that it brings and just so many things that I've kind of gotten out of this experience of making notebooks. I absolutely love notebooks. And, you know, I wanted a better way of making these notebooks that were not going to cost an arm and a leg for me to have to make and not going to cost an arm and a leg for somebody else to buy either. So I will be trying to um, push myself more this year. That is kind of not a daunting feeling, but I will say, you know, having a small business and being able to put yourself out there because that's genuinely what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm putting myself out there and it can be a little scary, especially when I'm the only one doing it. Like no one else is helping me do this. It's just me by myself. So, you know, starting a, a business at the age of 25, I'm 27 now, but starting a small business at the age of 25 and, you know, growing in that and building and trying to figure out what's going on, you know, I, I just, I want to be able to share my journey with other people and let other people, other young entrepreneurs, other young business people, let them know that it can be done because not only did I, you know, sit down and do this as a business, I also made a name for myself that I got, um, legalized like there was just a lot of things in the process of what I was doing um and I got a logo I got a name for myself um and it has really been a growth for me because you know to be able to kind of like go on my own website and be like wow like this is your website is just so amazing to me I literally just feel like what is going on in life it's it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and i thank god for it every day but um i will say this um over the next couple of weeks if not in this video um maybe in my next video i will kind of be maybe showing you what traveler's notebooks i will be putting on them on my website and then i will link my website down below um, if you want to know what my website is, um, let me know in this video, but I really need to, um, put more things on there just so other people can see it better and advertise myself a little bit better. Um, the only reason really why I really just honestly haven't been able to really do it the way that I've wanted to is because of me working. I have worked all year long, all year, like Literally, my boss was even surprised. Um, but I have worked all year long. Um, and now I'm just at a place where I'm like, you know what? It's a new year. It's a new start. I'm going to put more effort into my life, my business, and things that I would like to see literally prosper and come to where I really want it to be in my life. So with that being said, I pray that you'll have a blessed Day. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Um, please let me know. If you would like to see me actually, um, you know, go, if there's something that I didn't explain and there's something that you want me to explain a little bit better, please let me know. Leave a comment in the comment box. Ask questions. I'm literally feel free to answer questions if you have any questions. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to know about Traveler's Notebooks, let me know. They're super easy to make, I will say. But if there's anything else that you would like to see me make, or if there's anything else that you would like to see me do or explain, let me know. I am so open to doing it this year. I literally want to make time for my YouTube. I definitely want to make time for my own self and um, be more creative. I absolutely love being creative. So I pray that you all have a blessed day and I will talk to you later. Bye.